The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Truly, truly, I say to you, unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies, it remains alone. But if it dies, it bears much fruit. He who loves his life loses it, and he who hates his life in this world will keep it for eternal life. If anyone serves me, he must follow me, and where I am, there shall my servant be also. If anyone serves me, the Father will honor him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to Lord Jesus Christ. My dear sisters, one of the important churches in Rome is the Basilica of St. Lawrence. In the third century, he was one among the many martyrs. Pope Sixtus appointed him as one of the seven deacons, first of the deacons, and he was given charge of the property of the church, the treasury of the church. Emperor Valerian persecuted so many people, like the other emperors of the first three centuries, as Pope Sixtus was led to death. He asked Lawrence to take care of the poor. And then the prefect of Rome asked Lawrence to surrender to him all the treasures of the church. It seems there were 1,500 poor people kept in a house and St. Lawrence took the prefect of Rome and showed the poor and told him, these poor people are the treasures of the church. This enraged the prefect and then he was ordered to be roasted in the oven. It was really terrible but he cheerfully accepted death for the sake of the Lord, for the sake of the poor and needy. St. Lawrence is the patron of so many people, patron of the cooks, patron of all those who suffer, patron of the soldiers. May he also intercede for us that we may be really sensitive to the needs of our brothers and sisters. In the first reading, we had a beautiful passage from the ninth chapter of the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Paul is exhorting them to contribute to the poor, especially to the poor in the church of Jerusalem. He says, Macedonians gave generously God blessed them. You also give generously. And in this context only Paul says, God loves a cheerful giver. Not only giving to the poor, the Bible tells us serve the Lord in gladness. We do our studies, we do our cleaning, everything we have to do with joy, cheer, not with a face downcast. God loves a cheerful giver, giving to the poor and the needy. Not only outside the convent, but above all within the convent, the sick are the poor, the less talented are the poor. How are we in helping them? The Lord is looking at each and every one of our actions, words and deeds, not to humiliate anyone, encouraging people, helping them in their work, 
in that way our goodness must shine paul is asking us that we should always be generous because we will be abundantly blessed by the lord in today's gospel the beautiful passage which is read repeatedly whenever we celebrate a martyr's feast unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies it remains alone one grain by dying produces many grains like that we are asked to die not once and for all by a sudden martyrdom but martyrdom of daily life we need to become martyrs of charity and then jesus says i will die for you you have to die for me you have to follow me if you are my servants if anyone serves me he must follow me and where i am there shall my servant be also if anyone serves me the father will honor him will be honored by the father loved by jesus if we imitate jesus in serving others in every day dying a little to our ego to our selfishness to our arrogance but become more and more charitable kind understanding may the lord take care of the poor may the lord bless the poor through our words and deeds amen